My name is Michael Jarrett. I'm an Associate Professor of Environmental Health Science at the University of California, Berkeley in the School of Public Health. I recently completed a study that was published in the journal Preventive Medicine that looks at the relationship between the density of traffic around children's homes and their obesity rates as they age from 10 years to 18 years. And what we found was that there's a significant and substantial increase in the level of obesity at age 18 for children living in neighborhoods with very high traffic density. And this has implications for policy because we know how to calm traffic within neighborhoods. We can definitely slow traffic down. We can move it onto main streets. We can keep it away from where the children live and play. And we can give children safe routes to school. So this has an implication that as traffic has increased over the past 20 or 30 years at a rate that's three or four times greater than population growth, children have retreated from the streets and they've been denied the opportunity of safety and mobility in the city. This study is the first to document a longitudinal change in obesity that occurs as a result of the exposure to traffic near the home. And I think it gives new incentive for policymakers to look very carefully at traffic calming measures that can prevent traffic uh, encroachment into residential areas.